Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. And welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hook Up, right here on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Pete Gray here, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, we're in the world headquarters here, right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. Captain Brian Kiyohara, Captain Ray Lopez, and Lori with the from the American Angler. We're talking some seriously good fishing here and some great stories about a great operation, the American Angler. And we're giving away quite the prize, and we have a lot of calls, a lot of texts. Yeah, no kidding, man. You talk about a great prize. Someone's going fishing at the end of the day on the Liberty, at the end of the show today, rather, on the Liberty, going to be a great opportunity for a full day trip uh, at a fisherman's landing on that great trip with Captain Taro. And again, that's available to every phone call that makes it on the show today, every text that gets on the show today. There's been so much great info already talked about and we got another full hour covering your questions here if you want to give us a call the number is 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 or text that show via the let's talk hookup app yeah only on the let's talk hookup app can you text it and an easy download um uh, the app's been doing great so just go on the google play or the uh app store and just download it for free and you can text you can call you can uh, check out our website check out our trips everything about it. I think the coolest thing on there is just if you, you know, if, if you're, you miss today's show, if you miss tomorrow's show and you're driving home from work and you're sitting in traffic, you can you can plug the phone in, hook it up to the car, and you can listen to all the archive yeah. shows and catch what you missed. Or, yeah. you know, Ray's got some killer trick about how he likes to rig up his flat fall. You can, you know, you can play that back. It's just a great way to yep. keep in touch with all the Let's Talk Hook Up stuff. Absolutely. For sure. Hey, with that said, we're going to find out what's biting out there. It is time for the catch port today. And today, our fishdope.com is sponsored by <clears throat> our great friends at Summit. With gas prices going crazy, you certainly need to get the lowest price possible for your car or truck, especially for your trailer boat. That's when you need to visit Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. It's big time savings. They have discount live bait gift certificates from Everingham. They have 100 pounds of free ice with a minimum of a 35-gallon purchase. at Summit Gasoline. They have low prices, a friendly staff, a very easy in-and-out pull-through with your boat trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. Got a text from a listener the other day showing his boat at Summit and loading up and saying this is the greatest thing ever. T- totally, man. Oh, it it to is such a, I mean, you're going to, you need fuel, you might as well get it lesser expensive. You need bait, you might as well get it lesser expensive. You're going to get 100 pounds of ice for free. Yeah. It is a true no-brainer. And it's on the way to the launch ramp. Yeah. It's and like it's, right in between it's San Diego and Mission Bay launch yeah. ramp, too. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> spot, no doubt about it. Well, hey, let's start off with our private boater buddy, Captain Mark Wish has got our fishdope.com report. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Ricky. Pete, Lori, Brian, Ray, you got the all-star crew in there, guys. No doubt. So, uh, yeah, on last week's report, I stuck my neck out a little bit, maybe more than a little bit, and made a prediction that, you know, given the moon tide scenario we had uh, coming up here for this week, we'd have some good sea bass fishing if we had some decent weather. Well, went pretty much as predicted. We definitely had some good fishing, but uh, still too damn much weather just uh, unfortunate so up north there good schools up there at the channel islands and uh, a lot of really big ones up there like 40 to 60 pounders even some a little bit bigger uh you find the bait schools and you will find the fish but unfortunately most of the week uh, that weather up there was hideous but you know those guys up there are tough and uh they did manage to get out in a couple little windows there and they clobbered some of them big ones but nice weather up there today so i imagine we'll see some good scores uh, Nick and SBI, just nothing here, just blown out all week at Catalina. Much the same report. A little bit better weather down here, fortunately, uh, but still a big issue. Some tanker grade sea bass there caught at the island. Very little on the yellowtail here so far uh, in the last week or two, but uh, some really big ones caught at the island, mostly backside east because you can tuck in from the weather there just a little bit. And uh, that west area is going to get looked at now because today looks like the weather's going to be kind of decent, so that west will get looked at. Now, I got an interesting report from some divers. They were diving on the front off a big boat there, so it was even in the wind. And um, 
there are squid eggs all over the bottom, front side west, all over the bottom, and several schools of big sea bass. That water was really dirty after the wind. They said it was really hard to see, but they can hear them and feel them croaking when they're diving. But some good schools up there on the front west. They're at Clemente, same story, good fishing, too much weather and too many seals over there at Clemente. They're just brutal. Um, some good signal from several areas. Backside west has got some squid, yellows, and sea bass all mixed together there. And then big yellow is on some structure more in the middle, just yellows only. And then some good signal down there in God's country, Pyramid Cove, one of my favorite spots on earth. Flat, calm, and biting fish in there too. So, guys, it's all coming together. It's trying really hard. We've got a lot of fish around in a lot of different areas. And uh, with our improving conditions in both the water and the weather, I had time to go fishing. Yeah, just like Mark Wish predicted, and it's in the book. <laughs> this that was the week, right? <laughs> we just yeah, need but some man, weather. That, that weather is just—it's just been harsh this year. You know, I think being uh, kind of a fairly strong La Nina, we just see a lot of this cold northwest wind in these big La Nina years, and. We're seeing it classically for sure. It can go away anytime it wants, no problem. Yeah, and it looks like it's starting to improve next week. Maybe we'll get a few windows, huh? You know, it, it, it does look better. Tomorrow's supposed to be windy, and then after that, it's going to get better. So yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll be looking forward to that. And it's just a lot of fish. And then, yeah, I didn't even mention anything about the bluefin. You guys got that all covered for <laughs> sure. But, man. Good stories coming from them bluefin grounds for sure. That's yeah, crazy. and fishdope.com has it all. Uh, Danny and the boys uh, get all the information. They have the weather. They have the wind. They have all the fish reports, tell you where to go, what to do. 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com using the code HOOKUPNOW, lowercase, no space, your $20 code to fishdope.com. And, Mark, how do we find you? B, we're in Huntington Beach. The store's on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone number is area code 714-840-4262. The website's pacificedgetackle.com. And uh, stop on by, guys. I'd like to see you. Say hi. All see right. You. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that report. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. You got it. All right. Well, while we're waiting for our buddy Marcos to roll in to finish off our catch report, we're going to jump back into the phones. This time, we're going to talk to Rich. He's calling us from Camarillo this morning. Hi, Rich. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Morning, everyone. Uh, I was in the shop the other day, and I saw umpteen jigs hanging around, and I was looking for knife jigs. Uh, it's almost overwhelming, the, the inventory you have in there. Uh, is there really any company or, or manufacturer that's a better jig than another one? You know, I mean, I don't think that – I think that the fishing that we're having right now is not a great judge of what makes the best lure because there's just some – there's some flat-out really good fishing going on right now. And, you know, what we're happy to see right now is that level of inventory, and it, it doesn't need to be that way Um but, you know, stuff was so hard to get last year, and it likely is going to be that hard this year. There's a lot of redundancy, at least in our shop, and I'm sure all the other shops are the same way. Like, we'll have several jigs that are just as good as another. Like, you, you, you couldn't say that a Taddy 45 is better than a Sala 7X, is better than a JRI number 4. Those are three great manufacturers that all make the same thing. And the same thing is in the knife jig world. You know, the Nomads and the Mustads and the Jig Paras and so we sell a lot of different lures by different manufacturers. One, because we're fishermen and we like to collect a bunch of stuff and we all like the one we want and Ray likes the red paint job one and Brian likes the yellow one and Lori likes the glow one. So there's that factor. And then the other one is frankly just it's hard to get things and so having a lot of options just allows us to keep more on the shelf because any one of those 300 knife jigs that you put down with the appropriate hooks on them is going to work just fine. So, so right. I Ray, what's your favorite color? The one that sinks the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> Same with you, Brian? I, me too. Yeah. Yeah, especially if the wind's blowing more than eight knots. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much nine times out of ten, you go downstairs and unhook one of those jigs. It's a different jig on every single fish. So is it more um, conditions related? You mentioned wind. If, if the wind's blowing a little bit, you need something a little heavier? Is that what you're saying, Brian? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If, if, from, from, from the wheelhouse standpoint, it, it's, we all talk about jigs and this and that. But it is just for us... It's like a video game, connecting the dots first, you know, tracking the school, getting on it, getting the boat on top of it. But that's not even the battle. The battle is is connecting the dots between 
our passengers knife jigs or flat balls going down into that yeah, school right. of fish yeah because there's so many times because we could see the jigs going down on our pedometers and it's like man it, it didn't happen and you're you know, just watching them go through the schools oh we could see them watch them go through the schools and then you, you could hear them down on deck oh biter biter biters so you cool. know yeah. but then there's many times where we where we're tracking the school 360 degrees on the sonar it's under the boat looks great guys and then you get your guys back there getting their jigs in the water and then as you see the jig sinking, you could see them not under the boat anymore, mm-hmm. off the starboard bow swimming away, and it's just like, oh. Yeah, they didn't bite. Oh, or, you know, we didn't give the, our passengers the correct opportunity to yeah. get that bite. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't, I mean, I, I just can't fathom what that job of yours is to yeah. see the direction those fish are going, and then, like you say, you got to you gotta lead them, and you got to get on them, and you got to get the guys on them. That is, a, that is an impression. You know, it's an impressive video game that you're trying to put together. And, and the passengers are, are a huge part of this whole equation. You know, if you don't have savvy guys that are, you know, like feeling the boat sliding forward still and lobbing their jigs, you know, up mm-hmm. the side a little bit, knowing by the time they get straight up and down. Or if you don't have the savvy guys that the wind is blowing to well mm-hmm. not, but they're up in the bow casting their knife jigs downwind. You know, if, if you're stuck halfway up the side on the windy side dro- dropping your jig there's a good chance that things can be scoped out where there's no fish so it's it takes a lot of a lot, lot things. going on yeah a lot yeah, going on to sure. make it happen yeah. Yeah. Totally. well hey thanks a lot for the phone call this morning uh, i have some breaking news from your saltwater guide captain dave hansen he says the carnage has live squid in front of avalon right now and he says he has plenty nice. so if you're headed over to the catalina you want to get a scoop of live squid call up the carnage and uh, he'll get you set up and look you know it's a busy busy morning i'll bet over at c4 sport fishing but marcos is ready to go good morning marcos how's everyone what's up marcos uh, it, it was busy. Now we're just relaxing. <laughs> you know, the typical Saturday morning. But uh, very good fishing overall this week. Those day and a half and even the one days and those longer trips, just absolutely killing it on the bluefin. Um, for example, Flare Supreme left on a three-day, but they called in this morning. They already had limits for their first day, and they're working on day two here as the second day starts. The Tribute, the Pacifica, all those guys going out there catching bluefin limits or close to bluefin limits and those fish are generally going from 20 up to 80 pounds so definitely a very fun catchable range there where you're going to get your shot those fish and get a chance to get them on the boat so very good fishing on those we got that schedule up through may which starts tomorrow we're already into may and i think the season's basically going into full swing here so definitely check the website seaforthlanding.com has a schedule up there for all those full or one day's day and a half and longer trips and then the full day, the San Diego has been fishing offshore this week. They started fishing offshore on Monday, and they are definitely getting the bluefin on some of those. Uh, they had, what, 15 on Wednesday, 12 on Tuesday. Yesterday, a little tougher. They only only got Yelltail and Benito, but, again, that's just, you know, Ryan's one of the best there is at doing that. So if there's bluefin in range, he's going to get you on them and get you shot at them. And, again, our full schedule is up there on the website for them. The half day, very good bottom fishing, and... After a little tough week there, they finally got those calico bass to bite yesterday. In the afternoon there, they put 12 on the boat for the 25 guys, but they also released 60. So definitely what you expect with the spring fishing there. So great weather, all around great fishing. Check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Got our full schedule up there for all those trips, half days, full days, the overnights and longer. You can always give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. More than happy to answer your questions and make a reservation for you to get you out there fishing. Come down visit some person, get your tackle tuned up, get what you need, and get out there fishing. Great report, Marcos. Appreciate a great job as always. Glad to hear fishing remaining so great. And like you say, we oh. got <clears throat> one little day of wind and then a really nice week of weather coming in front of us. So we're uh, and <clears throat> I've got some real, really good news for you, Ricky. I forgot to mention this. I'm ready. Starting this upcoming week, week here, the Twilight's back online. <laughs> I know that's your absolute favorite trip there. So we expect to see you down here signing autographs. So that starts Friday. For the first couple weeks, you're going to be running it Friday, Saturdays, and then we'll expand it out a bit from there when it picks up a bit. Not, not only is it my favorite, but that's where I met Captain Ray Lopez a long time ago <laughs> when, we were, <laughs> when we were kids fishing with our dads. Uh, really? Yeah, twilight fishing at a sea fort. Dad and no I used kidding. to, you know, we... I grew up in East County, and Dad and I would go all the time. Like, my dad did such a good job. I always thought it was so much fun. Like, I would, 
he would have me go into the construction site with him and like help him do you know whatever stuff we did and like that was that was how we earned like our fishing money to then go fishing and we would jump on the twilight you know it was hot in east county we'd go down twilight fishing and you know we we would make that like our regular you know kind of like our weekly thing and and uh yeah i mean as little kids did it all the time and that's where i met ray and his dad and same yeah. doing the, the same thing the, huh, the ray? barracuda the barracuda sundowners yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a great fun. time at seaforth was, that was before captain's license before american angler everything oh, yeah. i think i was 13 or something yeah. wow yeah. and you were like same you guys are sure. the same age yeah. yeah or close to yeah, yeah that was a lot of fun wow that's pretty cool all right twilight start up again Go get them, Marcos, and uh, enjoy your busy day down there at C4 Sport Fishing, and we'll talk to you next Saturday. I'll talk to you then, guys. See you, Marcos. Right. Let's head down to Seaforth again. Mike Lum is calling us from the Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea Friends at Rollo's Sale right now. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning, everyone. Just uh, wanted to follow Marcos there. I didn't realize that we were going to be right next to each other. I could have just walked over there. <laughs> yeah. um, we have... The biggest selection of used fishing tackle I have ever seen in one spot. It's amazing, the stuff that's going out on these tables. From where I'm standing right now, I'm looking at, I, I would guess there is at least 400 quality reels sitting on tables, and they're still unloading the truck. So this is wow. going to be one amazing sale, and it's going to start at 11 o'clock here at Seaforth out in the parking lot. All the proceeds, as you know, go to help us take more kids on their first ocean fishing trip. And uh, all these products have been donated throughout the year to uh, to help do just that. And uh, we've got an amazing selection of stuff. And if anybody is interested in buying some good quality tackle at very reasonable prices, today is the day. When's the line start opening up? Well, they're, we're going to open the gate at 11, but there's already a couple guys milling around that have their folding chairs in place holding their spots. <laughs> yeah. so we're going we're gonna to have a big big crowd when we open, but uh, there's plenty of tackle here. There's hundreds and hundreds of fishing rods, and, and same with reels, and a ton of quality terminal tackle, tackle boxes, all kinds of great stuff. Um, and I encourage anybody that is – Interested in helping the Captain Rollo Kids at Sea program and at the same time scoring some great products at great prices today is definitely the day. We're also doing, after we finish the sale at 3 o'clock, we're going to uh, do our annual raffle, which we uh, have been selling tickets for all year long, and we're going to give away those $30,000 worth of prizes uh, today right after this sale. Oh, that happens uh, today, huh? Yeah, we're going to do that today. We're going to give away that today. We'll be selling raffle tickets here at the sale um, along with all the used tackle. But uh, we're going to give away all those prizes uh, right after the show today, and uh, we'll notify the winners as to to who won. You don't have to be present, of course, to win. We've sold sold more raffle tickets this year than we have in the last two years combined. So it's really amazing, the support we're getting, and I really appreciate. Let's Talk Hook Up and everybody that has made donations to help us. That's awesome, Yeah, Mike. well, we've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. Today's the day. Yeah. C4 Sport Fishing, uh, plenty of free parking. Get down there. Gates open at 11. I'd uh, start working your way there and uh, not too soon. Bring your lawn chair, right? <laughs> if you want to score those first Taddy 45s, man, you better get there quick. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Mike. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks for all guys. your hard work, Mike. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Well, right. You know, Mike's one of those unsung heroes that we all take oh, for yeah. granted. You know, it, it's like the future. You know, I'm long gone, but Ray, Ray has a bright future in sport fishing. Look at all the kids that they're introducing. Yeah. You know, it's just... I mean, look, Ray, Ray started on the Twilight boat, right? Yeah, I mean, but yeah. guys like Mike Lum, you know, dedicating yeah. all this time and effort and yeah. raising this money in order to make it happen. It's you fantastic. Bet. Mike Lum and Tim Baker have been the brains behind this, and those guys uh, deserve a big round of applause for everybody, for taking a lot of kids fishing. Rollo would be money. stoked and proud. R- Rollo cool. would be stoked, for sure. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that very much. Hey, phones are packed. They want to talk American Angler. Let's jump into that it. That sounds good to me. How about this time we talk to Steve? Steve's calling us from Bishop this morning. Good morning, Steve. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. The opener of the Sierras oh, disease yeah. today from Bishop. Yeah, uh, it is the opening day of the trout season up here. We call it Fishmas. Fishmas, oh, yes. Like and, we are trolling uh, Fishmas, on Crawley yeah. right now. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. You should be trolling uh, on Crawley. kind of... Well, you know, it's kind of crowded out there on opening day, and there's a lot of <laughs> tourists that come up for that. And see, I live here, so I can go fishing on Tuesday. Yeah, there you go. That's good so move. That's, and you're retired. But yeah, it's a, and hi Ray. Yeah, I am retired for for several years now. 
Uh, gosh, thanks for taking my call. And, uh, you know, I have a couple of questions. Uh, it's great to hear from you guys and listen to your whole, the whole show this morning. But uh, one is uh, on the flat fall and nice jig rigging thing. I see about a thousand different methods to do that with assist hooks, tops and bottoms, and single hooks fixed to the bottom. Um, and I'm curious as what you think is maybe the best way to do that. And then the other thing I want to ask for Lori is, uh, is how close am I on the waiting list on that November trip? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Number two. Wow, you okay. remember that? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you have That's a shot. That's why we like doing business with Lori because she knows stuff. Yeah, yeah, no she doubt. does know stuff. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> yeah. To answer your question about the jig, Steve, I, I, I feel like there's so many different variations. You look up the side, you know, you walk up the side, there's assist, only one assist hook on this jig, there's two on the bottom on this one, so I guess it's more or less personal preference, I guess is the best way to answer it. It's just... And you guys get to see the most important part of it. Like you get to take hooks. You get to. You, you're the one that takes the hooks back out of them. So I mean, you, yeah, we, we've you, seen you it, see all. it all way, and yeah. it sounds like you see all ways working. Yeah, like everyone gets super technical. The guys doing the silver solder with the million swivels and hooks on their jigs in the garage, and <laughs> yeah. just full of jewelry. And then you get the guys just got the generic, just whatever's. But they all work, you know. Like I, I, I think now it, it's you got to see what what grade of fish we're catching. It, it's one of those things that your generic, like, nighttime, oh, I'm going to use the big gear. Here it comes. But if we're catching two and 300 pounders at night, a lot of big ones, a 160, 180, 100, 100, you know, 100 pound gear with 200 pound fluorocarbon and giant knife jigs to get it down there is, is the key. But at the same time, that rig is not your most effective rig when they're stopping on a school of 40 pounders. Mm -hmm. You know, something that's easily more manageable in your hands, like a smaller Talico with 80 pound on it, for example, with a smaller flat fall or knife jig. So And more fun, too. More fun, too. It's, but it's just easier to fish rather than dragging your giant big gear up the side and, you know, dropping down 200 pound fluorocarbon and... All of that. So a lot of it depends upon the grade of the fish that we are catching yeah. at that time. Very good point. Match the hatch. You know, I see a lot of times where, you know, we're fishing the smaller grade and guys are dropping down those giant jigs with the giant hooks on them and it's just wondering why they can't get a bite. Maybe just downsize it. You guys have done so much fishing over the years at Hurricane Bank and Big Giant Tunas and PL68s. Would this knife jig absolutely, flat fall thing? Absolutely, yeah? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we, we've seen that since that's happened, and we're solid people. We love sure, that. Sure, totally. And clipper in all this, we've, I've seen a lot of millions of fish caught on these PL-68s, but let's face it, we're all getting older. Hurricane Bank, I've seen it in the last two, three, four, five years, however long that's more streamlined, heavier lures mm -hmm. at nighttime happen. Faster drop. Where it's like, hey, hey uh, Jim. Try try that flat fall that I saw on your box, you know, because it, it's easier on you. Sure. You know, the, to wind a PL-68, two times you do it, that rod's back yeah, in the totally. rack. Where's my sinker rig? <laughs> but now with these flat falls and knife jigs, it's easier for our older guys to yeah. up and down a few more times, and they are effective. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for the call. How's the weather in Bishop? Well, that we still have you. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. It's probably going to be 80 degrees here today, and uh, I think it's fairly calm on the lake up there at Crowley. So nice. That'll make it good to, for those guys out there fishing. But, uh, yeah. you know, they used to say that on opening day you could walk from bow to bow across the lake because there's so many boats. But yeah. I think that volume is down quite a bit now. But still, yeah. it's exciting. It's exciting. Wow. And, and hey, great folks, that I'll they have a great day of weather. Day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Here's a great text from Todd, he says, Laurie, I still remember our first conversation in the fall of 2003. Thank you for hooking me up with Ken's gang. Have made some special friends that I fish with every year, and I'll see you soon. And uh, that we should talk for a minute about Ken and the ambassador that he is for the American <laughs> angler, right? Ken's Custom Reel and Oceanside and that whole shop up there. I mean, oh, for sure. they, he's like the American angler ambassador, huh? He's the best. Yeah, he's, he's and, such and a great 
Good uh, guy. Who, who sent that text. Yeah. He's not missed a year since 2003. Is that right? And his cool. buddy Scott, they've done Ken seven day. Well, I think it was a 10, it was a five day, and then I went to a seven day. Yeah. But yeah, Ken is the best. He's yeah, this with you, Royal Polaris, correct? Oh, yeah. Todd's from Royal Polaris. He's, him and his wife used to do long trips with us. Really? Yeah, 17 cool. eight fly down flybacks January. Wow. The first ones. Yeah. But Ken, we cannot say enough. You know, it, it's Ken is just not only fantastic for our business, but overall sport fishing. He's, um, he's great. It's just like recommending a boat, for example. It's totally. tough. You don't know who's going to be the captain or who the crew is, but... Along with Fisherman's Tackle, Ken's goes hand. You, you can confidently tell your customers, go see Ken. And we know those that, guys. We yeah. send people we send people yeah. up that way all the time for that exact same reason. You Brian. know, he's you know, not going to get ripped off. Yeah, totally. You know, he's going to get the straight dope and all of that. It's just, you cannot say enough about that. And man. Wes is a magician when it comes to making yeah. You're not kidding work. about yeah. that, man. The guy is good, for sure. Hey, um, um, that's good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump back on the phone. You got it. How about this time we talked to Johnny, calling us all the way from South Florida this morning. Hi, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk. Good morning. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Um, man, we went out on the uh, Polaris Supreme with uh, um, Captain Aliar over the weekend, and it was, it was. I mean, I leave my expectations at home, but it's a long journey from South Florida to get to California to get out on the trip, and it was I mean, just incredible. Um, the uh, I think we went we went south to Mexico. And the first day, like the, the bite was, uh, you know, sparse during the day. Um, but we, we only brought slow pitch jigging gear with us. That was it. Um, we didn't have the rail rods or the traditional, uh, you know, rods that you guys are using out there. We were going in there to jig and that's it. That's what we do down here in South Florida. And, uh, during the day, um, we actually were, we were getting tight quite regular. Like we were able to, um, pitch into the drift. We understand head boat fishing. We understood the slide of the boat and we were pitching, um, you know, to where we were getting vertical straight up and down. Um, we've got these little tiny rods and we were hooking up, uh, pretty pretty regularly there and i hear you guys talking about uh jigs quite a bit and the flat fall and the knife jigs and stuff like that but i think you know during the day you guys said that the the uh bite uh slows down on the jigs but i think we were we were like effectively like we almost could have limited out within the first uh you know day before before night broke on the jigs um and it was something to do with you know the action and the movement how we were getting the jigs up and letting them fall down and we were hooking up and i think i had i had two fish on the deck in like the first uh couple hours there but um i just wanted to let you guys know that the as the night as the night bite came through it was <laughs> It was something I didn't, I've never even seen before in my life, you know, coming from South Florida. And it was, um, you didn't, there was no, no, uh, you didn't have no skill level needed. If you dropped it down and just let it keep falling and we were hooking up and we literally limited out, uh, that evening, the first day That's cool. out there. Wow. Great experience yeah. on the Polaro Supreme there. That's cool. We like hearing that. And yeah, cool. Spread the word down there in South Florida for San Diego sport fishing. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Nice to hear from you from there. Hey, I uh, want to mention uh, that the uh, Escondido Senior Anglers are back in gear. That includes the Cowboy, too, which, by the way, I heard hey, from Cowboy. Right. And Cowboy will be at our live broadcast two weeks from today. All at right. Landing with great. his coffee and donuts. So it'll be great to see Cowboy again. But uh, they're, after a two-year hiatus, the San Diego Senior Anglers are back Back in full swing. They're going to have their next meeting Friday, May 13th, and uh, it'll be uh, the uh, Bill Augustus, the park ranger for the San Diego Department of Parks and Recreation uh, and San Isabel's, Na- San Isabel's Nature Center. And uh, so that's going to be at the um, Park Avenue Community Center in Escondido. Meeting starts at 9.30 a.m. So I uh, want to thank Ken Harrison uh, for that information, and uh, congratulations to the uh, Escondido Senior Anglers getting back in gear. Ken Harrison, by the way, lives in Bishop, um, old radio friend from many, many years ago, and he's going to be doing a live report tomorrow for you and Corey oh, cool. on the Eastern Sierra opener. He's up there today uh, doing his field research. I like it. And so he 
be calling you on the show tomorrow with a full opening weekend report on the Sierra opener. Awesome. Well, I can't wait for that. Hey, when we come back, we have a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming, Ray, including more of your phone calls and a lot more of your texts. You stay tuned. This is Let's Talk Cookup, Southern California sport fishing voice on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. Travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877 777 Tuna for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. For your next trip, who needs travel insurance? You do. This is Bob Dawson from Dawson & Associates Insurance Services. We guarantee the lowest prices on all travel insurance plans with six companies and 122 different policies. These plans will include trip cancellation insurance, medical, medevac, baggage loss, and rental car coverage. Please call me at area code 619-990-3068 or visit us at safariglobaltravel.com. The lighter the bite and the cleaner the water means one thing. We need a thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader-shy fish. With exceptional knot and tinsel strength, this advanced leader material is now available from 2-pound test for fishing trout in the Sierra to 80-pound test for big yellowfin in Guadalupe. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. Want to take your catch from fresh to superior grade? This is Robbie Gant from AFCO. We developed the tools for the ink and GMA process. Circuit Breaker is specially designed to disable the full length of the fish's spinal cord. The memory-resistant wire of AFCO Circuit Breaker will not bend or kink, even after repeated use. Take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Available at a dealer near you or check out AFCO.com. To find dealer locations and to find everything an angler needs, visit ATFCO.com. The giant Captain Rollo's used tackle sale is back. Join us Saturday, April 30th at Seaforth Landing for our biggest sale ever. Doors open from 11 to 3. Come early for best selection, and we will see you there. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Okay, this is the first time since well before the show started that we have an open phone line. If you want to get through, this is your shot. It's 213-432-1090. Yeah, and uh, a lot of great text pouring in here. And uh, this is one, a lot of great, and this this is an example. He didn't leave his phone number and his name, so not eligible for the prize, but it's a good text. Most important unsung heroes on the American Angler are the galley crew. Josh and Tom are terrific accommodations. Everyone's special requests and actually work well on the decks too. Special thanks go out to them. That's so true, right, Lori? It is. Yeah. It is. They feed you well. They do. Yeah, it's, for sure. That's it, awesome. It's hard work behind the galley. Oh, man. Really tough. I, I had another fun text that this said, uh, this is from uh, from D in Los Angeles. Said, um, Since we were talking boat work earlier, I saw a video of what looked to be a person painting a prop with a paintbrush. What's that all about? Prop speed. Prop speed. Does it work? We're we're true believers. We're true really? believers. Cool. Yeah. When, when did it come into play, Brian? When when they first saw the product, Barth, who lives up the street, came down. And he goes, "Can I put this stuff on your boat for free?" And we said, "Yeah." Yeah. What's it gonna hurt? Yeah. And um, that was probably 12, 13, yeah. 14 years yeah. ago. And since then, like we missed our haul out last year, you know, the whole COVID thing and all that. And we we pulled our props here beautiful. Still have prop speed on them, the whole thing. Really? And it's just a coating that goes right over the raw metal of the props themselves? Yeah. Like yes. a prop preservative. Okay. And in, in, it, it increases fuel economy for the guys, you know, the, on yachts that have actually, like, figured Super it out. Super document. Really? Yeah. And um, it, it's helped our cavitation, you know, the, the wear due to cavitation on the tips of our blades. 
it um, we have to get our props service less. That's cool. So it's pricey, but it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's not cheap stuff, but it. Uh, but believers. For the, for the longevity believers. of the equipment, it's, 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 yeah. yeah, and and just to, at the price of fuel now to save a little fuel. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phone. You got it. This time we're going to talk to Ron. He's calling us from Pasadena this morning. Ron, good morning. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Cook Up. Good morning. Hey, for her college graduation, my daughter asked to go on a long-range trip, so we're on Brian's eight day in the end of June. My plan is to have the crew take care of her most of the time and me stay out of the way, but uh, is there anything else I can do to make sure she has a good time? That's a pretty good plan. What a great question. That's a pretty good plan. The, The crew will trust me. Take care of her, and you, you you could be up the side on your own and not not have a worry in the world. She's going to be taken care of. That'll be a super fun trip for you guys yeah. too. And what a rad what a rad way to celebrate a big accomplishment. Too. Yeah, good, that is good cool. for you, Ron. That's great. I'm stoked for both. Glad of you, you guys. got in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and and you guys are very kid friendly, aren't you, on the boat? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get a lot of kids Absolutely. going. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we love they're, them. Yeah, we love them. They're our favorite. Yeah, yeah. that's the highlight is having a kid come. Yeah, I bet. for sure. Yeah, I bet. That's cool. That's neat. And families, father, daughter, father, oh, yeah. son, generations. We, we've developed quite the the regular the family, the family following. regulars where it's like the, uh, all the girls will come out. How, how, how old are oh. like Catalina and them? They'll still sit in the wheelhouse. You just cussed. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let you know. Brian, they're calling you on the radio. You know, I got my assist yeah. there. My assistant <laughs> up in the wheelhouse. That's so cool. That's fun. <laughs> hey, you got a great text here from uh, Steve. He says, uh, great interview with Brian today. Just to mention, I was fortunate enough to get a 338-pound yellowfin tuna on the Royal Polaris back in the day with Brian, Rollo, and Tim Ekstrom gaffing it. Nice to hear the show. And that's from Steve Miller probably from way back oh when. yeah yeah so a lot of uh, a lot of guys that have been around for a while fishing with you from when did you start in this fishing industry brian 1983 and i worked with for frank from 1986 87 up to 96 how old were you in 1983 i graduated from high school in 84 oh, okay so 17 so, 16 yeah 17. wow and you started with frank when you were like like 20? Early 20s, yes. Holy mackerel. Yes. Yeah, and Rollo was there. And Rollo, Tim. Tim. All the owl. Wow, what a crew. Yeah, you know, we uh, and we worked a lot back then. You know, we fished yeah. year-round. We yeah. got a lot of stories. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of them. So once a week or so, somebody sends in a picture, and it's these guys when they're 16, 17, it's... 18 on the rope player. You <laughs> yeah. see Tim and Rollo oh, and yeah. Brian and everything. Well, over at Mitch's, you see some of those old photos, right? Of these guys, man. They're all studs. Buff. We used to be studs, yeah. and now yes, we buff. walk around with our guts hanging out. Yeah, stop. Not yeah, look at you guys. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and jump back into it, Rick. You got it. How about this time we talked to Jim? Jim's calling us from National City. Jim, good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning. What a great show. I got a couple of things. Pete, first, before I talk about the American Angler, which my history goes way back when Danny built that boat down at Chula Vista at Bill's Pool's uh, boat yard down there. But first, I wanted to talk about, I went and got some Summit gas, Pete, and I, you haven't mentioned on your show, I went in and got 15 gallons. They give me the receipt, and when I get up to 35 gallons through several purchases in my car, I get I get the ice, and I also oh. get the uh, uh, the. the the bait. Yeah, you never mentioned that, Pete. So anyway, oh, that's cool. I'm I didn't know they were doing you. that, like a cumulative purchase. Well, that's cool. That's great. They're yeah. great people yeah, over there. The owner, you. Finn, is a great guy, and Martha, the manager, they're just really, really nice people. But what I wanted to talk about the American Angler, uh, my mother and Darlene, uh, that's Danny's wife, girlfriend, uh, uh, work together so that's how i met danny years ago when the american angler was getting built down there in chula vista and danny would take me down periodically under construction the american angler which at that time was the state of the art boat and as far as i'm concerned and i haven't been on all the boats but been on quite a few american angler to me is still one of the state of the art boats in our fleet but i remember that i used to go down there danny go well this is this and this is the engine room. These are our, and you know, I didn't know anything about boats. But anyway, 
Uh, he would be telling me all this stuff. But he had construction pictures of the boat down there at the boatyard, Bill Poole's boatyard. And I know Brian was interested in those pictures. I was just wondering if you ever got a hold of any of those pictures of the American angler under construction. I, I, I have not, Jim. I have not. Back in the day, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. What, now, and what's so American Angler, uh, Royal Star, and the Player Supreme are basically s- similar holes. The right? same hole. The, the same, same hole. hole. Yeah. As well as the Dolphin and the new C Fourth. Oh, really? The Dolphin and the new C Fourth. Same hole. And, and so, when Jim's talking about state of the art, it's Mister Pool and Pool Shipyard down there at National City. The Royal Polaris was the first long range boat, you know, pool boat made. And to this day, it is the prettiest. It's, it is. And Todd Chafee was, was the marine architect. And his claim to why the lines, and she's beautiful and she's still state of the art, was because it was in, in a tomato field, is, was Pool Shipyard. So he was able to, to get a perspective of the boat being built okay. from 100 yards away. Oh. No kidding. And go, you know what? We need a little bit more slant on the Portuguese, a oh, li- little less of this. No, and, I'm kidding. And, and that's why to this day, when the Royal Players backs in, I still just go, wow, wow. there she Pretty is. Boat. You know, state of the art for, for your first try. Yeah. Right? That was the first boat from Pool Boat Boatyard. For your first try to hit a home run like that? Yeah. Come on. That's cool. So, where in the succession of those uh, hulls is the American Angler? God, where? I, what came first? It, I think it was early early 70s is, was Royal Polaris, and then there was the, the, the Deluxe, uh, the Supreme was before us, before Bold you. Contender, Spirited Adventure. So, the, there's quite a, a yeah. few pool boats, the Apollo, and then. Um, in 1986, Frank and Dean Adams and Ted Dunn, they built the Royal Star pretty much side by each ne- next to Dan Sansom in the okay. straight. And so, so they were they were built together pretty much. Pretty much. Star, and, you know, Royal Star was more long-range amenities, you know, downstairs bathrooms, downstairs showers, double occupancy, bigger staterooms, more of a uh, limited load, long-range type vessel, whereas Danny, who owned the Nilo Wan at the time, was more like, we need more bunks, and, you know, we're going to carry some people, had that more open party mentality, so mm-hmm. even though the boats are sister ships, they're, they're, there's... They share different... A lot, they're diff- very they're, they're different. They're very different boats, yeah. yeah. And yeah. also have then, you know, through you and through Ray, and, you know, you then... Over the years, you adapt the boat to the right to your style of fishing, and here we go again with the machinery. And you know, this is what you and Ray picked out, and the state rooms are redone the way that you like. You know, like over the years, nobody knows those boats better than than you guys, the owners and the operators, and you just continually tweak them and make them better and better and better. I, I think the pride of of owner operation that that we see looking out the window here, it, it's. It's un- unparalleled. Totally. The guys down here, I mean, everywhere up and down the coast, it, it's take very good care of their vessels. There's no question about it. Jim, thanks a lot for the call. Hey, I had another great text. This one is, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is from Kurt in Vista. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Lori and the gang. Uh, I fished with them last year, and on my way to the landing, the worst thing, all of my rods flew out of the truck and ended up smashed on the freeway. Lori stepped up so much and went down to the boat and got a set of boat rods for me to fish my own reels on them. Uh, I was still able to fish uh, on the trip. They have the most top-notch customer service and the best people and crew look forward to all my trips in the future nice thank you that's a cool that's story cool. i mean a brutal story brutal. yeah not what yeah, you want to hear but story. but again like you know you guys made it you made it happen no surfboard on the side of the oh, road the worst oh, yeah. <laughs> the worst yeah tie him down yeah. let's go ahead and jump back in the phones Rick. all right how about this time we talked to gus gus calling us from burbank this morning hi gus welcome to let's talk hookup yo everybody yo good yo, morning gus. i i have a a question uh, regarding uh, today's sale uh, of Captain Rollo's stuff. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, last December, I think it was, I, I bought a, a raffle ticket uh, uh, for this 
for this day. And I was wondering what time do they plan to hold that? Uh, he said right at the end of the sale. So uh, at three o'clock. Yeah, he's going to start doing the raffle around three so, o'clock. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you your phone rings at four, Gus, you're a winner. Oh, it's going to ring. <laughs> All right. Well, good for you for buying a lot of tickets, Gus, and then supporting uh, friends of Rollo and Captain Rollo's kids at sea. Appreciate that very much. Hey, um, uh, a great text here, and just uh, so many texts. I mean, 100 texts today, and I'm going to say probably 50% of them are just kudos to the American Angler. Yeah, for I mean, sure. Right? Probably I mean, more than that. It's just amazing. Yeah. Um, this is from Jose in Fallbrook. And uh, when fishing smaller jigs uh, for bluefin during the day, do you use straight tie or use mono or do you want to use fluorocarbon? What's your thought, Ray? I'm a firm believer of fluorocarbon no matter what I'm yeah. fishing for. I just, it's like oh, Brian's old analogy. It's like the, the basketball player at the free throw line. You know, if you got the confidence. Roll with it. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a. Why do you like fluorocarbon? Uh, number one, the abrasion resistance, yeah. and you know the whole being invisible thing. Yeah. <laughs> the one so. thing you know for sure is it sure is going to hurt your game. You know exactly. what I mean? Like whether whether it's the less visible reason, whether it's harder and they can chew on a lot. What whatever the thing is, the one yeah. thing you know for sure is it's not going to hinder. It. Right. So I can, I can honestly say I've never heard anybody use the excuses. Oh man, I'm not getting a bite because I'm using fluorocarbon. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> um, are, are you a long top shot guy or are you a short top shot guy? What do you think? I'm kind of a medium, I guess, and it kind of goes coincide with the weather as well. You know, yeah. if it's choppier weather, the boat's rolling around. I like a little bit longer top shot. You know, just for the wear and tear. And, and then uh, obviously, if it's good weather, you can get away with the shorter top shot. But it's not for everybody. And then maybe with that question too, do you like uh, do you like yourself or or your guys to fish a, a a mono top shot and then just tie a little piece of fluoro to it, or do you just like the whole section of fluoro tied right to your spectra? I'm a firm believer of the mono with a little bit of top shot of fluorocarbon because I like the little bit of stretch. You know, like I said, that straight fluorocarbon at times can be herky jerky on guys, mm-hmm. especially spectra fluorocarbon. It's jerky, yeah, and especially it's with choppy especially weather, with a little yeah. weather, yeah. yeah, that's good info. Yeah, so I I'm a advocate of a little bit of mono with a little bit of fluorocarbon can't go wrong perfect all right very good let's uh, go ahead rick Uh, i was gonna say another great text uh this was to the aa crew i'm curious how kite rotations works on the trips i've done short trips and know how they do it on the overnights but how does it work on a long range boat well basically it depends on where we are number one okay and so you know depending on where we are um you know fishing places where we have the anchor down or something like that with the kite we generally just go down the list and then also, if we're fishing offshore or something, we kind of just do the number and the hat thing. Okay. Just because, you know, we we don't know how long we're going to be flying the kite. Right. And so just to make it fair for everybody else, we just do the number and the kite thing and then do That's, our rotations. It's a just, good way to do just it. Just try to make it fair for everybody. So if you're if you're in a spot where maybe you're more likely to go through everybody, you just go through the number list. And if you're number one, you go one. If you're number two, you go two, that, that kind of thing. Exactly. But if you're in a spot where you're less likely that everyone's going to go through, then then it just becomes random. Yeah. That's a great. Yeah, that's great. All right. Cool. Let's try and sneak one more call in, Rick. You got it. How about we talk to Tony from Coronado? Good morning, Tony. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going? Great. What's up, Tony? Good, good. Yeah, hey, Brian. It's Uncle Tony. How you doing? Oh, good, Uncle Tony. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm putting those uh, sea traders in the mains uh, right now. Try to make it down there to the, the prisoner's landing. But uh, I just wanted to ask you, how's the boat going? Everything da- uh, done or what? Uh, we we do not have everything done. We sold, or uh, we just got our transmissions in town here yesterday. That's, that's a, a good, big day. That's a good feeling. So we're going to pay them. So we're, motor mounts, uh, transmissions, and engines back in the boat, and then start putting her together. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know the supply chain again. It's like, oh man, we need one of these. You know and. And it's like you go up to Marine Exchange or, you know, you flip your phone on and it's a week. I mean, it's 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 two weeks. It's everything in every industry. Everything that used to take a day or two now takes a week or two across the board. If you're lucky, a week or two. Yeah, across the board. So, you know, in our our situation, it's just patience. Yeah. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. It's hard, though, when there's fish biting, right, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I'm I'm just thankful to have Lori and Brian because to do this project that we're – and right now, it, it takes multiple brains. Yeah. I mean, it's just even Lori, if she's part of it, believe it, whether she says it or not, because we're constantly ordering stuff, and it's like we're the worst at using our phones. So here, Lori, can you order some of these? You know, yeah. she's, perfect, no problem. Be here in a week, and so she's a big part of it, believe it or not, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure yeah. you are. Yeah. Um, uh, 
You're going to have the prettiest engine room in the fleet, though, right? It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Shining light. Yeah, it sounds cool. That's cool. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out who's going fishing on board the Liberty. We got a full day trip we're giving away and more Let's Talk Hookup. You stay tuned. You're listening on Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN radio. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the King Kingfisher Crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. You've been waiting for it, and it's finally here. The Kamikatsu Nautilus Ringed Circle Hook is now available in sizes 4, 2, 1, and 1, 0. Oh. That's right. Those smaller, highly sought-after Kamikatsu Circle Hooks are now available in ringed and non-ringed versions down to size 4. It's the hook that will help you get that bite. The Kamikatsu Nautilus Circle Hook. Now in smaller sizes in ringed and non-ringed styles. Get it now at Select Tackle Shops. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish and I like smaller reels too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every hundred feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. All right, it's time to find out who's got the big prize going fishing on board the Liberty. And Lori's going to do us the, the favor of flipping the coin here. This will determine whether Ready, their Lori? winner is a here caller we go. or a texter. All right, so today the coin. it is the, the texters texter. that won. So congratulations to Todd in Temple City. You are going fishing on board the All Liberty. Right. Todd, congratulations, and wow, what a great show, so you fast. guys, and it goes so fast, and it just shows you what a phenomenal operation you all have, because, and here's the cool thing, you always come in as a team, and it's a I team it. effort, right? It's a family at, at the American Angler, right? So we sure appreciate you and what you do for San Diego and Southern California sport fishing, and, and uh, appreciate the, all the great times on the American Angler. How do we get a hold of you if we want to go on a trip? 619-223-5414. Text, call, email, office at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. All right. And, and you, when you go on the website, AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com, you'll see that all the trips are full. They are, but that doesn't, don't does that doesn't mean anything. Thing. Please call. Please yeah. call or text or call email. You. I need those wait lists. We love that. Yeah. And, yeah. and you'll put people on a wait list for free. And then if something opens up. Oh, yeah. You'll call them and say, time to send in your 200 buck deposit. Love the wait list. Yeah, call them. Yeah, awesome. so, and it happens all the time, right? It does. Dynamic. Yeah. Noise yeah, noise so it's good. And uh, just a, a, a great operation and a great time. And uh, Ray, Brian, good luck with the finishing yeah, up the project. Yeah, excited, you guys. Oh, thanks, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, excited to see uh, all the good stuff that you're uh, putting together on the American Angler. So. It's going to be nice. Yeah, for sure. They're all hey, cleaned up today. Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> yeah, they got to get some paint on them now. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for listening today. Uh, thank you for all the texts. Thanks for all the calls. And thank you for supporting Let's Talk Up. We appreciate that very much. We'll see you over at the Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, Friends of Rollo. Uh, big tackle sale starting at 11 at Sea Forest Sport Fishing. And tomorrow on Let's Talk Hookup, we have a great show. The one and only world's greatest.
greatest fisherman, Brandon Bono. It was hard getting him, but he's coming tomorrow morning with Corey and Rick and Brandon. That's going to be a phenomenal show. I'm on my way to our Loretta Rumble tomorrow morning. And I want to thank Christian for Man in the Phones and, of course, Adam for Man in the App. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m., right back here on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app.